suite de nos aventures dans Terminator Résistance. Alors lors du dernier épisode, nous avions une mission principale qui consistait à faire de la reconnaissance. Nous étions partis nous coucher après avoir réalisé notre mission. On a été réveillés au milieu de la nuit par l'étranger qui nous avait sauvés. Euh, et à peine nous devions euh, nous faire la malle qu'on a encore été attaqué par un Terminator version humaine. Euh, et donc tout de suite, on va découvrir la suite de notre aventure. Listen to us. She could no longer deny that this infiltrator was a real threat. She decided to take everyone in on her terms. The shelter was on high alert, but thanks to the intel I gathered in Pasadena, we slowed the advance of the Annihilation Line and gained some time. Just enough to start preparing the counterattack. Deux semaines plus tard. Donc notre nouvelle mission, membre de la Résistance. Qu'est-ce que nous dit Ces deux dernières semaines ont été calmes depuis que nous avons rejoint le refuge de la Résistance. Maintenant que la ligne d'annihilation est sous contrôle, nous avons le temps de préparer la contre-attaque. En attendant... Le commandant Baron, Baron veut que j'aille voir Alvin qui fait des travaux de maintenance de nos systèmes de défense au centre-ville. Donc objectif, parler Baron. Nouvelle zone et notre objectif est ici. On va vérifier un peu les installations avant de se lancer. Et oui, merde. Commence bien, on est déjà bloqué. De toute façon, notre objectif est par là. Sergeant, at ease. Notre ami. Well, look at you, Sergeant. When you helped us in Pasadena the other day, I was trying really hard not to panic because you were only a private. Sorry for underestimating you. I guess I should salute or something? Non, ça va aller, on va rester simple. Comment va Patrick? Tu te prépares à partir? Getting ready for another scavenging run? No, I just came out here to catch my breath. Baron is giving us the entire evening off, believe it or not. Doesn't sound like her. How's Patrick? Every day a little better. Aaron says he'll be back on his feet in no time. Bien. She's done a great job with him. I wish I could repay her somehow. It just doesn't seem that she needs anything. I need to report to Baron. Toc toc toc, c'est moi. Rivers, DN46890. The commander is expecting you in the control room, Sergeant. On est un peu crispé, hein. Pas Terminator, moi. Hein. Les chiens sont là justement pour. Euh, pour faire ici, si, si, si je suis pas un cyborg. Ça me fait vraiment penser à la, à la scène où il y a Schwarzenegger qui attaque euh, comme ça le camp de la résistance. Tu me parles toi. I'm going out soon. I haven't made my daily quota yet. I still have three more rats to catch. If you see one, let me know, okay? Faire des rats burgers. Hey, I'm just catching up with Mark. I'll get back to work in a couple of minutes. You won't tell, right? <laughs> uh, but, but no, seriously, you won't tell, right? Même pas le choix. Il y a l'armurerie ici. 
Arme, munitions, explosifs, lance, roquettes et B. Oh, mais c'est du joli tout ça. Do you need anything? Tout. Can I see your heart? Je veux tout. Oh, tout ça, j'ai déjà. Hein. Que j'agrandisse un peu mon, mon magasin. Ah, yeah, no. Hey Ryan, how's everything? Uh, exactly as you would imagine. Barons keep me busy. They weren't kidding when they said she's a hard ass. What did you hear? A lot of rumors going around of how she's sending insubordinate workers to the front line. And by insubordinate, I mean people who ain't willing to work 18 hours a day. Every day. What happened after you started your camp? Honestly, nah, not that much. At least not in the beginning. When we gave up on the idea of getting in touch with anyone, we just tried to adapt. Temperatures fell, we had to scavenge for food. All of a sudden, that became our life. Alors, vous n'avez pas essayé d'entrer chez vous Quand est-ce que tu as entendu parler de Skynet pour la première fois when did you first hear about Skynet? Oh, that came years later. We did hear some rumors about robot warriors, but you must understand how crazy it sounded back then. And that wasn't even the most insane story out there. My favorite one was about the radioactive squirrel zombies. Well, I know how stupid it sounds, but we managed to have fun in our little commune. I still had my guitar with me. We talked a lot about how we're going to be famous, because we're the only living band in the world. You faisais partie d'un groupe? You played in a band. I did. One of the few things I was better at than Tucker. He didn't have much talent, but he loved the idea of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. That's especially up. the first two. <laughs> we were just stupid kids, not realizing what was going on. We paid the price for it the first time we saw a tin can. I was tuning my guitar when I heard a strange noise. I found out later that it was a T-400. Must have heard me play. It didn't even have the decency to look scary. Maybe if it did, we wouldn't have just stood there when it started firing. What did you do? I froze. I didn't run to help. I didn't scream. I didn't even move. I just stood there, like a coward. A tin can got Tucker with a single bullet. Bam! Just like that. Seven other people died before we finally destroyed that thing. Ironically enough, I was the one who delivered the final blow. Safe to say, it was the beginning of a new era. Eh bien, ce coin. T'as les géants, le... Le camp, putain, j'ai pas fait gaffe, c'est un vrai labyrinthe, hein. Ah, y'a du matos, là-bas. Y accéder. Ah, ayant de grands bras. Par contre, pour les autres, ça va être un peu. un petit peu tendu. Ah non, ça passe pas. Ça passe pas, on va continuer notre. notre tour. Atelier, pour l'instant, on va garder nos outils. Are you all right? Me? Honey, I'm about the most well-adjusted person in this goddamn place. It's the others you should be concerned about. You mean Ryan? Ryan ain't so hot either, but that's another story. Jennifer? I'm worried about her. 
I'm the one that asked Baron to give her team a little break. Jennifer's been busy scavenging supplies for the soldiers, and she hardly had time to see Patrick. And now she's finally got a day off. She's avoiding him like the plague. How's Patrick doing? He's fine, but it wouldn't kill you if you checked on him yourself. Is there anything you need? No. I have to say, the Resistance is pretty well supplied. Don't tell me you miss running errands for me. Huh. I don't believe that for a second. And what about something other than medicine? Honey, I'm not shy. I'll let you know if I need anything, okay? But thank you for asking. Take care. Okay, starting our journey. It's getting more and more crowded in here. Yeah, just needs more mouths to feed. What's from you, she? How are you doing? Good. Aaron's going to let me leave in a couple of days. Thanks for bringing that chalk. I've been drawing a lot. I'd be so bored without it. How do you like living in the shelter? There's a lot of people here. I like that. I heard a funny joke yesterday. You want to hear it? Hmm. Ouais, pourquoi pas. Tell me. What's brown and sticky? Bullshit. <laughs> a stick. Oh, ha 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 ha. That's funny. I know, right? How's Jennifer? She's out a lot, but I understand. She's a scavenger. I have to go. Soldat blessé où il se repose. On s'allume ma nuit. Putain, on peut rien choper, c'est la crise. Ah, il a déjà, j'avais même pas fait gaffe, il a déjà coloré ses trucs et ses clés. Pour le voir ramener. Alton lost his spider scout again. Je bien fait le tour là. Almost gave me a heart attack. Note. Commandant Baron, j'ai été heureux de lire le rapport de Mission Passadena. Vous en, vous en êtes probablement conscient, mais il est essentiel que nous mobilisions toutes les troupes dans votre zone et que nous abandonnions tous les avant-postes de niveau 3. J'en comprends les conséquences et j'en assumerai l'entière responsabilité. En ce qui concerne les soldats, le soldat Rivers, je pense qu'il mérite de la reconnaissance pour ses actions. Peut-être qu'une promotion s'impose, je vous laisse décider. Je veux le garder sous le coude, signé John Connor, carrément. Chef de la résistance. Fils de Sarah Connor. Allez. You wanted to see me. You're finally here. Good. I have a special task for you. Nice, I'm prediction. I want you to head downtown to check on the doctor. Doctor? Alvin. He's out there making sure that our defense systems are working properly. Ever écureuils, since we hein. went radio silent, I had a small team of trustworthy messengers maintaining communication between our outposts. They haven't returned. So I want you to go downtown and see why that happened. Could be nothing. But Connor doesn't want any hiccups while he's up there in North Division preparing the attack on Skynet's central core. Is there a problem with the radio? The annihilation line is within spitting distance of downtown. We suspect that Skynet will be intercepting all transmissions from that location. So for now, we're going radio silent. That's why I need you to go there personally. Central core? Skynet's main reactor. The source of all their power. We shut down the central core, we shut down Skynet. Connor's preparing the attack as we speak. So you understand we can't have any critical complications at this stage. If you don't mind me asking, how did you end up here? Excuse me if I act a little surprised, Sergeant. 
But no one in here thinks it's wise to ask their superior personal questions. But since you did, I'll humor you. So, how did I get here? The same way you did. I was born, raised, then given a gun. We don't really have a say in what we do, do we? Or do I assume too much? Was it any different for you? Hmm? Hmm. Why do you fight, Sergeant? Alors que nous n'avons pas le choix parce que c'est mon devoir. On n'a pas le choix, hein, si on veut survivre. We don't have a choice. Exactly. We're just going through the motions. Humans were fighting humans since the beginning of time. It just so happens that right now we have a common enemy. If it wasn't for the machines, we'd probably be fighting each other. Alors, si c'est la vision que vous avez de l'humanité, est-ce que nous valons la peine d'être sauvés On peut avoir des doutes des fois. Hein. Ça ne veut pas dire qu'on doit abandonner et arrêter de se battre. C'est vrai aussi. Alors, je suppose qu'on devrait remercier les machines de nous avoir appris la compassion. Mmh. On va prendre la deuxième. That doesn't mean we should give up and stop fighting. No, no, it doesn't. I'm just warning you. Don't hold your breath waiting for all this to be over. There will always be another war. Besides, I'm not a fighter. When I go out there in the middle of the night with my Westinghouse, I'm not looking for a fight. I look to seek and conquer. I'm not a fighter. I'm a bully. Quelle différence pour que vous l'aurez une brute? Who wants to be a bully? Believe me. There will come a time when you'll become whatever you need to be to survive. No one ever stands up to bullies. But I have to admit it has its downsides. One of them being that no one ever asks me a personal question. At least not since Perry died. So congratulations, Rivers. It takes guts to stand up to a bully. I guess since your promotion, you got a little more cocky. Good for you. Elle m'a pas tapé dessus, donc euh, tout va bien. Euh... J'ai pas accédé à certaines zones là. Ah ouais. Ah verrouillé, quand je me disais. On va essayer de faire la même chose de l'autre côté. Je pense que ça va être pareil. Hein. Oh, fermé. Bien à peine arrivé déjà dans la merde. Qu'est-ce que me dire là What's happening, Private? A couple of aerials flew in and dropped containers full of metals. They started shooting while our defense systems did nothing. What about the doctor? Where's Alvin? He's still out there. All right. There's one more thing. Before I got hit and dragged here, I saw something. I'm not sure, but. I think it was one of our own soldiers that led Skynet's attack. Sergeant, we're outnumbered, and they keep bringing more wounded. We don't stand a chance. We have to evacuate. Is Alvin still there? He is, sir. Then we're not leaving. We have to bring him back and see what the hell is going on with those defenses, and brief Commander Baron on what's happening here. I'm moving out. You stay here with the wounded. You want me to break the radio silence? At this point, it doesn't matter, does it? Understood. Go ahead, sir. It's a mitraillant. Lord, they don't. You two follow me. We have to reach those defense systems. Yes, sir. Fighters up ahead. Got it. Lead the way. Okay, 
bien tombé facilement le... L'araignée là. Elle est où mon arme spéciale là Voilà. Bon. Ah. Ah, je vise à côté ou quoi Oula Putain Parce que j'ai dû viser dans le blindage ou dans la bagnole mais on voit pas bien avec leur visée là J'ai eu peur que ce soit un terminator de machin Ah non, c'est pas mal. Faut juste que je m'habitue au... Je passe pas à côté de la, la récolte. Alors, où est-ce que ça attaque Ah ouais, non, mais c'est terrible sur les terminateurs. Oh putain Terminator classique, ça va le gros monster munch là, par contre. Oh putain Pas de recul. Bon, bah, je vais me faire défoncer si. J'ai rien pour me mettre à couvert hein. okay. Okay. Où j'arrive à. Now, shoot before it reboots. Putain, elle est vénère. Now, shoot before it reboots. Ouais, là, c'est. Finally, this way. Il a pas apprécié hein. Moi aussi par contre. Faire le plein de mun euh... spécial. Attends si c'est un humain. d'avoir trouvé cette arme hein. attention ça continue oh putain euh, mettez vous pas devant les gars ok il y a du rouge hein Prendre la vie, Fred. Il va arrêter de se foutre devant.
Oh, elles sont... Ah, un peu. Sarge, take two of my men and proceed up that hill. We'll stay here to keep Skynet away from you. Les collègues quand même. Hein. Ils sont pas très très actifs là en face. Sergeant, on les Go find the dog. Follow me. tanks reach us. Oh shit. We're too late. They're already here. Ah ouais d'accord. Ah ça c'est typiquement l'espèce de char qu'on voit dans Terminator 2 de Judgment Day. Oh là là. Putain. This is it. Take care of those drones. Ça va beaucoup plus vite qu'être le, le sniper, hein. c'est plus adapté. Sur les T800, on s'est retrouvé la fin. C'est clair! Wait here! I'll go get the doctor! Alvin. Oh my god, I'm actually glad to see you. What happened here? Why are the defense systems not working? They are working, but their target filtering has been reset to non-hostile. One of Baron's messengers came with the order to temporarily change it, so I did. Baron's messengers. We need to leave now. Yes, let's do that. I'm all for that. Are you all right? We need to move. You don't have to tell me twice. Escort secured. Ah! Oh. Go! I don't like this. I don't like any of this. Ariel! Okay, go! You go talk to Commander Baron. I've had enough excitement for one day. Milton. Tourner vers la, la boss. Lay still. Thanks for getting us out of there, Sergeant. Félicitations ou pas? Rivers, you want to explain to me what the hell happened? We lost downtown. I know that much. But how's that possible? <laughs> what happened to our defense systems? 
Alvin says one of our soldiers came with an order directly from you to reset the target settings for non-lethals. He said what? Ah, all right. This is what I want you to do. Find whoever is responsible for sending that order. All the messengers have GPS tracking, so we're keeping tabs on their location. Find them and bring them to me. Understood. And Rivers, despite what I might say about our resident egghead, I truly have a hard time believing that my men are incompetent. So expect the unexpected. And you know what I mean by that. Do you think the infiltrator's back? Hmm. We won't be sure until you find those messengers and confirm my suspicion. Now that you mention it... What? One of our soldiers said that it looked as if one of our guys led Skynet's attack. That only supports my case. As soon as ouais. you know what's going on, radio me. Ce qui a été dit quand on est arrivé sur le champ de bataille. De bataille. Who's Perry? You mentioned him before. The best soldier I ever fought beside. He was the one who brought me into the resistance. <laughs> it's actually a funny story. Years ago, when I was just a kid, I saw a Skynet drone attacking some guy. Without thinking, I grabbed a rock and jumped on it. The guy was screaming the whole time while I beat the metal to the ground. Only when I was done did I realize he was trying to stop me. Vous avez détruit un drone avec une pierre. You killed a drone with a rock? Uh, I was young and stupid. Thank God the drone wasn't really armed, otherwise I wouldn't be here to tell you the story. He was a resistance scientist, and that drone was one of his projects. So you can imagine he wasn't too happy when I smashed it to pieces. You made one. But he wasn't alone. There was this huge guy with a rifle on his shoulder, almost choking with laughter. It sure made his day. C'est type énorme, c'était Perry ou c'est une façon c'est une façon de faire bonne impression. That huge guy. Was that Perry? Yes it was. Commander Perry was in charge of this division before me. That scientist later told me that was the first time he ever heard Perry laugh. Somehow Perry and I connected. He taught me how to channel my anger and get it under control. He introduced me to Connor, and that's how I got to the 132nd. Qu'est-il arrivé à ce scientifique Qu'est-il arrivé à Perry Whatever happened to the scientist huh. He was always doing his experiments, trying to outsmart Skynet. One day he fucked up, and because of that he's no longer with us. I'd never thought I'd be reminiscing about the day I met them. This may come as a surprise to you, but it was the first metal I ever destroyed. On dirait que vous avez rejoint la campagne destruction de Skynet sur le temps. Ça ne me surprend pas, vous n'étiez encore qu'une enfant. C'est la première machine que vous avez détruite et c'était l'une des nôtres. Ce n'était pas un bon début, on va éviter de dire ça. Sounds like you were late in joining the Destroy Skynet campaign. Before that, it was people, not machines. But that's a different story. Alors, vous voulez rompre le silence radio? You want to break radio silence? They have a head start on us. At this point, we can't afford to lose any time. Quête terminée. C'est vrai qu'on a quelques points à dépenser quand même. Hein. Alors la prochaine mission, ça sera la chasse est ouverte. Nous avons perdu le centre-ville après avoir été repéré. Il y a désormais plus rien qui empêche la ligne d'animation d'avancer. Et le commandant Baron veut que je trouve les responsables. L'équipe de messagers qui a donné l'ordre de réinitialiser les paramètres de ciblage de nos systèmes de défense porte des traceurs GPS. Nous n'aurons pas de mal à les trouver. Donc il va y avoir une chasse aux sorcières. Et on verra ça dans le prochain numéro.